Hello. Um, today I'm going to show you how to create a forecast with Power BI. So Power BI has a built-in forecast option that can analyze the historical data and provide the forecast. So at the end of the video, this is what we're going to create. This is the number of the units were delivered and we can see, we can predict by Power BI what will the future weeks deliver units. And then we can see the values here and our own historical data. So how to create this? The first thing we need is to create a um, line chart. And then once we add the line chart here, we need the data date point. So it can be weeks, um, days, monthly, yearly. For this presentation, I'm going to use week. So I will search for the weeks in my date field I bring the week number. We need to make sure the date that you use here, it must be a number. It cannot be a, uh, a text field. So we add the week and then we need a quantity. It could be sales quantities, um, delivered quantities, um, anything uh, with the value, with the quantity on it. So this one we can see, I'm gonna filter this report for only 2022. Bring the filter here and then so we don't have we have up to week 14 you can see the delivered units in the past so what we're going to do now we're going to add the forecast where we go we go to visualization um, under the analytics you have this forecast option um, if you use a text field anywhere for the date this option will not come up here so you make sure it's the value always um, it can be a date or a value like a week number but it cannot be, for example, week one, week two with the text field of the week. Um, so add forecast, uh, how many more weeks? Since it's a data point, we'll say for next three weeks. Um, here you have the option to ignore last. For example, if you're in the middle of the week and your data is not complete, then you can ignore your like the, the last number point, for example, last week. I'm going to ignore that. Um, and then so here we can see a little bit of the forecast. Um, and then if I remove this, be like this. So we have more data points. Um, so I'm going to add this to 10. So we have more with data. And the confidence interval is how much we are confident that we're going to hit the upper or lower limit. So at 99% is very really big gap between upper and lower limit. And if we reduce it to 75% that we can see we are a little bit less confidence. Um, so the upper and lower limit get shrinked. Um, seasonality is, um, if for example, if you are in a company that you have few years of water data and you're doing analyzing by weeks, for example, you, say, you can say that in your season, you have 52 weeks. Um, for our purpose, since it's 2022, um, we're not gonna put here. Um, so here, and then to change the colors, we click on the formatting, um, I'm sorry, on here, uh, on analytics, and then you can change the color here, let's say to green, and then solid line, you can make it dashed, and transparency you can increase reduce um, yeah and then if you want to see the values on the future forecast and also we can add the labels for the historical data here and a data label and then for this one what you need to do is click on the focus mode and from here also you can click show as a table so you have the values too uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to help you. Thank you.